Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the channel. Happy Thursday, everybody. I hope your day and your week are going well so far. College football is officially back. That's right, folks. The long wait is finally over. College football season is upon us. Week zero kicks off this weekend. I've got some free college football picks to share with you guys. But first, before we dive into today's video, you got to make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and drop a comment down below. It helps the channel grow, and it really does mean a ton to us here at Guy Boston Sports. And you guys are going to want to subscribe. We've got a ton of great content here on the channel, especially with football season coming up. We've got uh, college football picks videos. A ton, I mean a ton of NFL content between myself, Ev, and Trey, as well as our already pre-existing MLB and WNBA programming. So guys, we got a ton of stuff going on, and the best part about it all is that they're all free picks. So go ahead, if you haven't already, and hit that subscribe button down below. I am absolutely fired up to do this video today. I got my Tim Tebow Florida Gators jersey. Get in the mood, get in the vibes of college football. It is the best time of the year. I love, listen... I love baseball. I love basketball and soccer. I, I'm, I love sports. I'm a sports enthusiast. Uh, but when it comes to football, it's just different. And I think, listen, I, between college and NFL, I don't really have a personal favorite between the two. But when it comes to college, there's something so special about college football in this time of the year. And so, um, you know, when I got ready to do this video today, I, I couldn't help but get amped up and excited to do this with you guys. This is my, my second year doing college football picks content here on the Guy Boston Sports YouTube channel. I took over for Ev last year, probably like around, I think it was like week seven or week six of last year that he handed me the reins uh, to do the college football picks videos. Now, this is my first full official full year uh, doing videos, but my second year overall doing college football content. So yeah, guys, make sure to stick around all season long. I'll be doing college football picks videos every single week. They'll always drop at 5.30 p.m. Eastern time on Thursdays. And, you know, depending on the schedule, I might be able to drop a little bit extra. Maybe I'll do a player prop video, maybe a, a parlay video on top of the regular uh, picks videos. But yeah, college football content coming all year long, starting today from me. Uh, so make sure you stick around. It's going to be a lot of fun this year. I'm very excited to do this again. Shout out to Ev one more time. Uh, for giving me this opportunity. But um, all right, guys, let's not waste any more time. I know why you guys are really here. It's for the picks. Let's dive right in. All right, guys, so taking a look at this weekend slate, we're going to start off looking at uh, number 10 ranked Florida State taking on Georgia Tech. Uh, at the time of recording, Florida State is a 10.5 point favorite here. Uh, the total is set at 55.5. We have a 12 p.m. Eastern kickoff in neutral territory, Dublin, Ireland. Luck of the Irish. That would that was probably the worst Irish accent in the history of Irish accents. I do apologize for everybody at home who had to hear me try to do that. That was awful. Um, but, yeah, this is clearly the best game of the weekend slate. Look, guys, college week zero is a lot of fun. You know, obviously, it's the return of college football. It, it's, you know, gets you back into it. But you got to be cautious because week zero is a very dangerous week. Usually, the matchups like this weekend are not very good. A lot of trap games in there. Um, so, my advice to you guys is be cautious. I only have three picks for this weekend slate. Obviously, as we move along into the season, I will be giving way more than three picks of video, probably closer to 10 picks of video, honestly, when we get into the full college football slates. But that's why be cautious, guys. We're, better times are coming with the conference realignment and everything. You know, we've got a ton of great games coming up. So be cautious with your money. Don't go throw all your bankroll on these first couple games. Be cautious. Be smart. Have fun, put a couple bets in, but don't go too crazy on week zero because you more likely than not will get burned. So taking a look at this game, the first pick that I like here uh, is the Florida State spread, taking them at minus 10.5. Now at the time of recording, that pick is available on DraftKings for minus 108 odds. Look guys, there's a lot to love about Florida State here in this game. For starters, this is a Florida State team that's absolutely fired up and pissed off. They want vengeance. They're coming for blood in 2024. I truly do believe that. Look, we all know, if, if unless you were living under a rock or maybe just new to college football, uh, most of us know what happened to Florida State last year. It was an ugly ending to what was an incredible year from them, truthfully. You know, perfect undefeated regular season. They win the ACC championship. They were shooing for the college football playoff, and then they get left out of the college football playoff. Jordan Travis gets hurt. Uh, they decide not to put them in. Personally, I think it was the right decision from an entertainment standpoint. Um, you know, Alabama at that point in time was a better matchup for Michigan in the national semifinal. And, you know, obviously watching how that game turned out, it was true. Alabama gave Michigan a real challenge in that game. As we know the story. They got screwed. A lot of guys are returning from that team last year, and they are fired up about this season, and as they should be. Um, so I think that, for starters, Mike Norvell, everybody involved at Florida State, they want to come in here and prove that, you know what, last year wasn't a fluke. We were deserving, and we're going to prove to you guys that this year we're even more deserving than we were last year. So that's an exciting part about Florida State. Again, they're coming in really fired up and ready to roll here. 
Um, from a fo from a pure football standpoint, Florida State is way more talented than Georgia Tech. Georgia Tech, give them credit. They had a great season last year by Georgia Tech standards anyways. You know, they're trending in the right direction. They're a solid team. But Florida State, they, again, they're ranked number 10 in the country. They're one of the 10 best teams in college football for a reason. For a team that lost 10 players to the NFL draft this past year, they absolutely reloaded in the transfer portal. Got some really big players. They got like 75 players coming over from Alabama. It's crazy. It's like Nick Saban left and everyone's like, we're going to go right to Florida State. Right to Florida State. They got so many Alabama transfers. It's crazy. But they have a lot of good big names that came in. Uh, you know, a quarterback, most importantly, maybe they got DJ Ugalele, uh from Oregon State. Uh, former ACC quarterback with Clemson. He was supposed to be Trevor Lawrence's successor. Uh, that didn't really work out that way. But a really strong year at Oregon State last year. He now comes over to Florida State. There's a lot of new faces on offense, but this offense is still very much loaded. And I think with Mike Norvell's system, they built this team to match his running principles. Uh, you know, they have one of the best offensive lines in college football. A lot of key pieces from last year's offensive line returning. Actually, 91% of the offensive line snaps from last year are all coming back, meaning that the majority of those offensive line players from last year will be back this year. So there's a lot of continuity there with that offensive line. It was already really good last year. It's even better uh, this year. And look, there's some big shoes to fill, obviously. DJ, DJ Ugalele, he's not as good as Jordan Travis was. But I do think as far as successors go, he was the best option Florida State had. And I do think he can fit and work well in this Mike Norvell system, especially with an offensive line as good as the one that he has here. When it comes to the matchup now versus Georgia Tech, I just don't think Georgia Tech on the defensive line have enough talent to push this offensive line around. But again, this is one of the better offensive lines in the nation. Uh, I just don't see the talent on Georgia Tech's defensive front to be able to put pressure. Their run defense is not all that impressive. Going to go ahead and jump into the outlier screen for a second here, guys, to show you this. Shout out to Outlier, by the way. They're the sponsor of today's video and the best sports betting tool on the market, guys. With football being back, you got to have the proper tool by your side. And uh, Outlier is the best that money can buy. And the best part is for the first seven days, you don't got to pay a dime. You try it for seven days. If you don't like it, which I'd be shocked if you didn't, you can go ahead and cancel. No cost to you at all. But I'm telling you guys, Outlier is fantastic. Even if they didn't sponsor us, even if they weren't a partner, I would still utilize them. That's not bullshit. That's the truth. It really is a fantastic tool. It consolidates all the data that you need to make your college football picks. So one more time, link down below in the description, seven day free trial. Check it out for yourself. Thank you one more time to Outlier for sponsoring today's video. Uh, okay, back to my point here, though. Looking at the rank. Now, this is, of course, last year. You know, obviously, with college football, there's a lot of volatility. It's a lot different from year to year. But uh, I think we still get a pretty good picture here. And looking at Florida State versus Georgia Tech here, offense versus defense. Now, last year, Florida State was 77th in the nation rushing, averaging 150 rushing yards per game. Obviously, Trey Benson was the lead back last year. He had, He's uh, currently drafted by the Arizona Cardinals. Williams might be a slight downgrade, but I still think he's a pretty solid running back and should be able to work very well in this uh, Florida State offense. And they also got a couple other running backs, too, uh, that they can go ahead and utilize. But the key thing here is that Georgia Tech defensively, I just don't see them keeping up with Florida State. Look at defensively, they were 131st in the nation, giving up 221 rushing yards per game. This is a bad run defense team, and they're not going to be much better this year i just don't see georgia tech winning any battles in the trenches florida state should dominate the trenches they should be able to have their way running the football and then it opens up play action for dj ugulele who was pretty successful at oregon state oregon state with play actions and mike norvell likes to run play action with his system as well uh so really bad matchup for georgia tech in terms of where their strengths lie but i just think florida state has way too much talent. I just don't think Georgia Tech can overcome it. The biggest concern here for Florida State is growing pains. How will that affect them? All the new faces, all the new pieces. How is that going to affect their offense? That's the biggest concern here, but I'm not overly concerned. I do think Florida State is clearly the much better team. And the point spread's favor coming back in our favor. It was starting to get a little high. Uh, earlier today, it was at 12 and a half. I'd never liked it at that line. It's come back down now to 10 and a half. I recommend hopping on that as soon as you possibly can. I would bet it up to 11 and a half. After 11 and a half, I would not go any higher than that. Uh, even 11 and a half is a little risky, but uh, I think Florida State could should win this game by two touchdowns. Uh, but, you know, as you start getting closer to 12 and a half and stuff like that, uh, I would just look to avoid it potentially. All right, guys, on my second pick from today's slate, we're sticking with this Florida State Georgia Tech game, and we're going to go ahead and go with Roydale Williams, kind of piggybacking off that last take. Uh, Roydale Williams, over 66 and a half rushing yards. Uh, the time of recording, we're getting this from minus 114 on FanDuel. And like I just talked about, it's why I, I kind of went on a little bit of a ramble there because a lot of what I just said still applies to this player prop here. Look, Roydell Williams, he just transferred over from Alabama. Uh, you know, he really had didn't get a ton of opportunity in his four seasons at Bama, but he did spend four years 
under Nick Saban in that Alabama offense. So he comes with a lot of experience and a lot of knowledge playing with a team like Alabama. Um, I just think he never really had a great opportunity there. And I think now coming to Florida State, he's obviously going to be the lead back. He is going to be the number one running back on the depth chart here uh, for Florida State. I expect him to get a ton of touches. 66 and a half rushing yards. To me, that line's a little low, uh, especially, like I said, with the matchup here with Florida State having the offensive line that they have and, um, you know, Georgia Tech not being the strongest team up front. Their run defense, as we showed from last year, was pretty weak, not even top 125 in the nation. Uh, I do think it's a really good matchup. I think that Florida State should be able to run the football at will against Georgia Tech. And so I think Roydell Williams to get – I would bet this now. Some sports books I see it at 68 and a half, 69. I think he'll get 70-plus rushing yards. So I think I would bet it up to like 68 and a half, 69 and a half. I would not go over 70. I would, if it's 70 and a half, 71 and a half, don't touch it. But I think I would bet this up to 69 and a half. But I'm currently getting it at 66 and a half here uh, from FanDuel. All right, guys. In the second game that we're looking at, the only two games that we're looking at, I should say, for Week Zero here uh, is SMU versus Nevada. This game will kick off at 8 p.m. Eastern Time on Saturday. Uh, SMU is favored by 24 and a half points. The total is currently set at 56 points. And there's really no need to build anticipation here. I'm absolutely taking SMU minus 24 and a half here. Getting that from minus 115 right now on BetMGM. This line kind of keeps fluctuating. It was it goes as high as like 27 and a half, 28 and a half. Getting it currently at 24 and a half the time of recording. Look, Nevada's an awful team. Awful team. Now, uh, I do think they have an opportunity to turn it around here. Nevada does have a new head coach who's trying to turn the program around here, but it's going to take time. The Nevada Wolfpack were 2-10 and 10 last season. I just This team was abysmal. I don't see them getting a quick turnaround like that. It's going to take time to build this program up, and I think SMU, on the other hand, had a really strong showing last year, 11-3 and three overall. This was a team that could absolutely score points. SMU was actually top 10 in the nation last year in scoring. They averaged 38.7 points per game last season. Across the board, actually, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen with you real quick here. I'm not sure if my camera's blocked. I'm going to try and scroll up and down. But these are the ranks here, uh, SMU offense versus Nevada defense. And it's just bad. I mean, Nevada last year, defensively, they're tied 117th in the nation scoring defense, 33.4 points per game. Uh, across the board, though, you see SMU's numbers. Really good left side of the screen here. Really good numbers. Top 50 in almost every offensive category there. Uh, really good marks for them at SMU last season. They like to run up the score. That was one thing they did a lot last year. And then going to the defensive side of things, uh, you know, SMU's defense was solid, too. I mean, this was a really good team last year. And then Nevada, again, 17 points per game scoring last year. Uh, offensive efficiency, not very good across the board. SMU is also returning quarterback Preston Stone, who before he got hurt last year had really incredible numbers for SMU. Was like top 15 in the nation in touchdown passes, top 30 in the nation in passing yards. Had a really strong, obviously the strength of schedule and all that stuff can be put into perspective. But, you know, he had a really great year. He's coming back for SMU. I like this SMU team a lot here in this matchup. Like I said, guys, week zero can sometimes be a wasteland for picks. But in that wasteland, I think this is a really solid pick. SMU should absolutely roll this game. I know 24 and a half is a little bit high. I'd like it to be more towards, I know it opened actually around like 21 and a half. The market quickly corrected that. Uh, but I think 24 and a half is a really solid spot here to go ahead and grab SMU. So that's my third and final pick of today's slate. So guys, that does it for me for the first college football video of the year. All three picks will be posted in the pinned comment down below. I know people have been asking for that a lot, so I will go ahead and do that uh, down below. Thank you very much, as always, for watching. Guys, again, make sure to subscribe because we're going to be doing college football content all season long as well as the rest of all of our football content here on the channel. You're not going to want to miss the pokes. We're giving out free picks on top of free picks on top of free picks. And they're not bad picks. They win. Trust me. Go look at our MLB videos. We have been absolutely crushing. So, guys, thank you very much as well for always as watching. I will be back next Thursday with our Week 1 college football picks video really looking forward to a full slate uh next week but until then i hope you're all winners guys enjoy the start of college football